Konnichiwa Minasan, Hirito Des, and welcome back to another video. Now, we're finally getting our asses into Dangon Rompa. Trigger Havoc. Yeah. Okay, I like this. I know a lot of people have been telling me to play Dangon Rompa, so let's play. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna do like all the games, but what I do know for sure is that I'm gonna make um, a series on Danganronpa. And I know I still have a Forager uh, Alpha 6 to do, but uh, what can I say? People have been telling me that Danganronpa is awesome. So, let's play. Okay. I've seen Junko, like, I haven't watched Danganronpa like in the anime at all. But, uh, I can only recognize two characters, okay? By their names, uh, I don't re really recognize them. Okay, maybe three characters if we put the bear. But I recognize Junko and, uh, uh, the bear and then this, the other dude. Okay, yeah, this dude. I recognize that dude. What the heck is going on? Yeah, besides that, I don't recognize anyone. I mean, because I've, I've just seen them in like pictures and stuff, wallpapers, whatever. Let's do this! I have no idea how long this episode is gonna be, but episode one, let's go. Alrighty then. Press start. First, I wanna check the options. Okay. I don't think everything, everything looks okay. New game. Shall we go Nihongo? Okay, gentle, kind, and mean. Gentle, kind, and mean. I. Logic difficulty. Gentle, kind, and mean. We have logic difficulty. Wow. Action difficulty. I get that. Ah. Uh, this is my first time playing it, okay? I, I know my logic is good, but my action. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm a hardcore gamer, so I'm not gonna chicken out. Ooh, story. We have story over here. Hmm. Pedal bear. Who the? This is like the Iron Maiden, but like the Iron Bear Maiden. A rocket. What? A drill. Rocket. Bear. Maiden. Iron. Now what? Sends you to space and no. That's dark. That is so dark. This guy is so creepy. Wait, do I have to catch him? Seriously, I have no idea. Do I have to catch him or what? The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Wait. <clears throat> the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this building urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. It doesn't look that big. But anyway. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you will be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Very nice. There are two things you need to attend. There are two things you need to attend this school. 
One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be very, the very best at what you do. I am a YouTuber. <laughs> no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scout divided school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school field with the ultimate students is head of hair. Okay, was me. Wait, is that? <laughs> I wanted to sound like a narrator. Well, like, I don't think that's his voice. Wait. <clears throat> I have to see his face. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Oh, so I have to do his voice? Okay. As you can see, I am nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Sounds like Evan. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to great special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever is most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, no, I'm ordinary. You're, you're an anime main character. And game main character. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. What the... What the heck is this? Is this program? <laughs> is what? Hope speak only advise those students who are truly elite in their field. So it's like truly he's elite in being ordinary. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Wait, let me see. Name anonymous. Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything there is state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be going there. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So jealous. I'm... It's only for winners. Uh, okay, cool. I'm the ultimate YouTuber. <coughs> Ooh, so good. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I think I found my waifu of this game. <laughs> I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was a cleanup hitter. Cleanup, okay. He was a cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. The heck was that? No, oh, Junko. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. What? Wait, why is every single ultimate ultimate a high school student? Oh, wait, a teenager? I mean, we. Like, for example, just imagine uh, saying, like, okay, Naomi Campbell isn't the ultimate fashionista anymore because we have an ultimate fashionista teenager. No, that doesn't work. 600 yen? What? Junko, you know, she. Okay. 400 yen. Wow. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. And every high school dude wants to do, especially me. And Yabasnake, who the heck? 
Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Wait, what the hell? They're like just getting the ultimate of whatever. I mean, you could just have the ultimate uh, water drinker and they'll be like, oh, it's the ultimate. Get him to school. I mean, bro, if it's about that, I can go. The scary thing is, he's the factory leader of every biker gang in Japan. Well, no, that really is ultimate. Gangs everywhere love the guy, and the police are actually letting him continue being... Wow, okay. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, which probably is Jackie Chan. The ultimate fanfic creator. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with Oda for this one. The ultimate gambler. Should be, uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea who I'll go for the ultimate gambler. Either uh, Sora or uh, from No Game No Life or the chick from Kakigurui. I'm not sure. Okay, the ultimate swimming pro, uh, swimming pro. Okay, that has to do with free. I haven't watched free. The ultimate programmer. I'll probably say Kirito. The ultimate clairvoyant. Uh, I have no idea who that I'm going to put for that. And then some... Okay, reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. Dude, you're the ultimate, uh, average. So, it was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Well, you're still a cat. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Dude, you're the ultimate average! Shut up! But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just, could, could they be just average students like me without any talent or, or anything? Dude, shut up! That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in any way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Because you're the ultimate average. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glass at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Uh, okay, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Thank you! Thank you! As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us at the Ultimate Lucky Students. Wait, what? Wait, wait, just because the school chooses you by lottery, you're automatically the Ultimate Lucky Student? Dude, I can think of people that would be ultimate uh, could be ultimate lucky students i mean bro for example if i should win like 10 million dollars in the lottery i would be the ultimate lucky student they spelled it out plain as day i got invited by pure luck kazuma would be invited by pure luck i mean that's actually talent he's like the luckiest person i've ever seen in isekai for example Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. Stupid, don't do it. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later on in life, I just couldn't say no. Well, duh. Now, can you just get in the school? Wait, we've been talking for like 10 minutes, let's say, because, okay, I'm, go I'm gonna just, let's say for five minutes, I'm gonna put it to the intro, Getting into the game and pedal bear killing someone. So for like, let's see, seven, eight minutes, he's been standing in front of the school talking to us. Bruh, but then actually standing there in front of the school, get in, just get in. I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. Shut up and get in. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. <laughs> frozen in place, murmuring to myself. <laughs> I looked out at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. Dude, get in! It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the hall in the main hall at 8 a.m. 
It's probably like 12, okay? The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. <gasps> Final! I get it. Shut up. I get it up all my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. Yes, you did. You've gotten through gates so many times before, I'm sure. Don't you go inside your house? I think my first step toward the main hall. If they're gonna... Okay, I just want to talk about this for a second. We've been talking about shit for like the past 15 minutes, okay? This feels like an Indian... <laughs> Indian uh, series. I'm sorry if I have any Indian fans watching me, but like dudes <laughs> I've seen some Indian shows like currently My mom my sister and cousin are in the living room watching an Indian series. Okay? There's I get so pissed off at all these series. Okay, some of them are really cool. Okay, but then again Sometimes I don't know why the writers or whatever you call it, the directors. They like to waste time so much like this idiot right here, he's just talking to himself for the past 15 minutes. He's just standing in front of a gate. Dude, get in! Get in! Dude, you could have done so much. By now, you could have caught Pedal Bear. I'm gonna call him Pedal Bear from now on, so leave me alone. Finally, we're gonna get in. I'm thirsty after all this talking. This is where su we're supposed to meet, right? Well, I guess I'm the first one here. Oh, by the way, if you guys are any voice acting, scouting agents, whatever, or voice actors, just pay attention to the way I speak, okay? My voice acting is beautiful. Okay, so scout me in case. Plus, there's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. Why? Where's the clock? I'm not seeing any clock. <laughs> I want to see how elegant it is. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 15 minutes left. Okay guys, the video is going to be 15 minutes long. <laughs> it makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Okay, I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now. So there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at this school. At, the, at, at a new school. Oh man. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Dude, you're gonna solve cases, okay? You're gonna be Detective Conan of Danganronpa, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Am I? I'm right, okay. He's the main character. He's gonna solve the cases of Peter. What the hell? What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. Ah. And the next moment, poof! Everything went black. Yes, I knew it. That was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. The dude was Isekai. I am <laughs> the dude was Isekai. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate luck, uh, ultimate good luck. Right? It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Wait a second, is this a horror game? Cause I don't do good with horror, okay? Welcome to Despair High School. Mm, that was the prologue? We haven't even gotten in the game? Wait, what? We haven't even gotten in. I'm like, bruh. Okay. Yeah, safe here. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Wait, I have to read the dots? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Mm. <laughs> oh, hi, yo, Sekai, Moni, wow. What? Wait, wait, I have to get into character. What, where, where am I? I woke up with my head resting on the top of a hard wooden desk. 
so much for the ultimate school. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing a sleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever seen or been in before. What the heck is going on? Battle Bear! Oh. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basics controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. Can I please adjust my aim then? Please. Okay. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use WSAD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh, sugeda na. Wait, nani kore? Chotto nani? What the heck? What's with the oversized bolts? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. Unless the classroom is in the middle of the school. Because, like, I've experienced that, okay? My university is kind of crazy at some point. Like, that I used to attend, okay? But, um, it has some crazy, crazy classrooms. Anyway, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted on here. And if I were to knock on it, Conk, conk? <laughs> yep, definitely metal. Tip two, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? So that you can't get out, Konobaka. Wait, I've already seen the windows already. What's with the camera? Wait, do I just like flash myself into the camera? Is that a... A surveillance camera? I don't even have a camera. I'm using a phone to record this thing. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Why is it in the like in the middle? Wait, what the Okay. Nani Nani Kone. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool on myself that there. Gross! I have to clean that up later. CLEAN IT UP NOW! Hey, what's that on the desk? Hmm? Hey then, you'll get... The next mess is about to start. Starting today. This goal will be your entire world. Easy guy! <laughs> An orientation guide? More like a... Sorry, excuse of writing. Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. Duh! See? It's a cheap looking pamphlet, I said it. The next mess is about to start. Wait, I have to sound like a. I have to sound like a dumbass because the way this thing is written. <laughs> the next mess is about to start. Starting today, this goal will be your entire world. <laughs> the orientation guy is like shit. Yeah. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? It's Isekai, bro. It's probably Aqua. Okay, oh, WSAD. Hmm, wait, Nani! Uh, wait, we can watch TV! There's a TV! The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. No, it's not that weird, but like, why the hell do you have a, like, a box TV? I would expect like a smart TV, you know, like a sweet LG. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. It's the TV, that's what feels up. What's wrong with you? Okay, there's a door, but I don't want to get out yet because there's like still some things I haven't seen yet. The clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. But, dude, can't you remember that you were in the hallway? Has it really been almost an hour since then? You know what, don't mean you? Okay, let's see, so what am I, what have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here? What kind of, no! 
That's creepy as hell. That's true. It must mean this is a class inside. Won't speak. No, that's not what it means. That means that someone is creeping around here. Dude, you're supposed to ask who carried me here. What is wrong with you? But then, if that's true, that's, that's just raising more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's, it's like it's a prison or something. No, it's not like a prison because there are no metal plates in prison. What's wrong with you? None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing... Yeah, you can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. I can... First time I have to see the door. Why are the chairs like this? Oh, so I don't need to press the R key. I can just leave the classroom by... Ooh, Jeez, the hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. First of all, why don't you hear other students? That's what you're supposed to ask. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use WSED to move down the hallway. Oh, well, this is creepy. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Nani! Also, you can press the tab key to bring up the map. The school looks so damn small. Anyway. I see a yen sign. I can get money. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient! Duh. Okay, tab key. Oh, so get around. This place is so damn creepy. Wait, where am I? That's the end. If I go down here, I meet Petal Bear. I need to get to the main hall, which is probably I have nowhere, no idea where. Wait, shift to run. Despair Hotel. No! Camera! I am not going there. I have seen someone get killed in a freaking rocket. That's like another hole. That's not that. I can get up. <laughs> okay, that's the exit. Nah. Nani, Nani. Give me cash. I need cash. The school store. I guess it's not open. No, no, no. For, what, what, no, first. It's not about not being open. It says keep out. Do you not read? Alright then. Wait. I was here before when I got in. Where is the fancy clock the dude was talking about? What else? Nurse's office, so in case I die. Toilet. Ah. The girl's bathroom. Not an added matters, but it's locked. Why would you try it? Oh, Jim. And one of the dead. Please, is it got myself upstairs? Okay, let's just go to the main hall. Wait, where is the main hall? Wait, exit first. I can go out. I am free. By the time I got back to the main, wait, that's the main hall. It says exit. Everyone else was already there. Oh, hey, another new kid. Okay. Mm. Uh, <laughs> huh? So you guys are all Why do I sound like a twelve year old? Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Who is the fat so in the back? Oh I've seen this dude with spiky hair in the back. No, not the uh, the red spiky hair. I've seen him with that like the guy had some uh, you know, like I've seen him die. I'm I'm not sure how. I don't remember. Counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everywhere. Well, speaking. Uh, it's probably just muscle head that speak on that. But in any case, first of all, um, why does this look like a laboratory? They're gonna experiment on us? What? Speak! Um, standing before me were the ultimate students, the Avengers, that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around and everyone who gathered there and taking in their faces one at a time. Wait, please go back. I'm not gonna read this until I go back for a second. Please, oh, I just wanna see something. There's a muscle head. He's wearing a, a girl's uniform. He's wearing a girl's uniform. He's wearing a girl's uniform. I found my wife though. 
maybe I was just imagining it. But I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Well, duh, they're ultimate. New room! Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. Watashi wa! Ore wa Makoto Nagi. Um, sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? What? You too? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <clears throat> Whoa! Wait, this, this guy looks like some kind of rad Jamaican. Whoa, bro! You too? She looks like Krumi, wait. <sighs> no, wait, 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 no, more story. Maybe like we're going. Things, things just keep getting. What kind of word? Things just keep getting. Is she French? Things just. Uh, I can't, I can't do French. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. What kind of word? Is that a word? <laughs> Fatso. It's all uh, strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt. That this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Why? Uh, what are you, a soldier? Listen to me. Ida Kun from, we have yeah, Ida from uh, my academia. Makoto. <clears throat> Mako Makoto. Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp? To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment! What? What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. <laughs> I really like doing this thing. Just, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? She always seems like a very cheerful tomboy. She's probably gonna die first. Huh? The hell? Now's no time to be for freaking introductions. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I like this girl. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. Yeah. She looks like a trap. Okay, I'm sorry, but she looks like she could be a dude under that skirt. Okay. That's a good point. Um. Okay. So let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still lost. I'm still totally lost, but. I think it's the best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So, I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on Hope Speak Academy Tread Online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Why can't I just look at five? I'll start by talking to those five over there. He met a student and then pressed the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. First of all, water break. Yosh. Um, I would like to speak to the door. No! Wait, can I? I can't really turn. Can't really turn. I can look. Oh, let's go to the cute one. Nah, he could be a body pillow, so. Wait, no! I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname. The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Where are you, uh. This is a nerd, yeah. Yoroshiko Negashimasu. Speak! By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Otaku. World, world of 2D? <laughs> well, in front of in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
first of all, I want to apologize because when I was naming these dudes, I was like naming them like Ultimate Fanfic Creator. That's like Ichiro or whatever. But <laughs> this is definitely not Oda. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Well, I don't know it. Hmm. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too, that's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh. Va Van Gogh. <laughs> Utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, suffering night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfictions. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. Wait, Kurobaka. I, I don't think I want to comprehend it. No, 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 not me neither. I, I seriously can't say this on camera. Because I won't be monetized. And I'm not even monetized right now. Subscribe to me so I can be monetized. I don't want to speak to him. He could chew me off. I'm going to speak to the cute, cutie. So pale, you're like a ghost. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Yo, 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 pedal, pe yo, <laughs> pedal bear, get the hell back. What the hell is that? And that pleasant scent, I mean, ah, she smells so nice. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. Oh. oh, yeah, she is my wife. Oh. Those legs. <clears throat> she's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. Love Liv. <clears throat> As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. And how are you not uh, a fanboy? Yeah, you're supposed to be a mega fan, right? But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she uh, should be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Um, I, I'm psychic. What? Ooh. So, uh, please don't tell me that she can really see what I'm saying at this point or what I'm thinking. Because at this point, what I'm thinking. Wait, I hope she didn't hear, this, hear my inner thoughts when I said, they passed though. Huh? <laughs> kidding. I just have really, really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um, hey, um, by any chance... Do you love me? Uh, now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Yes. <sighs> I shteru. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. What? Wait, Kuro, Kuro, Baka. Cross. Okay. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? I was gonna get to you in a second. Can you please let me talk to my new girlfriend? Uh, I'm sorry. I just got carried away, I guess. Please don't you hear me! <laughs> Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not fumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Shut up. I'm gonna chop off your eyebrows. What is wrong with you? How could you speak to her like that? Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. Don't worry, we can talk about this later. She knows what I want. She is the one. 
it sounded like Sega really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again, like she said. We can talk later. Do not jinx it. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna give this guy a piece of my mind. Why, Bakero? I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. It's like the ultimate cliche. That's it. The dude is like a walking cliche. Ultimate moral compass. I don't need you. So that's Kyoto Cup. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. A walking cliche. He's also known for the work he's done for his community. Community's public morals community. No, with his community's public morals community. Whatever. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. I can call him Taka. Oh my god. Nicknames. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Wait, I can talk softly right now because like we're friends, you know. You know I can call him by a nickname. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> no, actually my name is Hirito. That's a good name! A strong name! I can just imagine cutting him in my back. Yeah. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. No. You hear me? This guy's creepy. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy would be like a perfect Hitler. This guy is kind of annoying. Yeah, duh. Moral compasito. Talk of God. You're last because you're gonna die for this problem. Not that you'll remember my name anyway. The shy type. The shy type. The the shy type. Yes. <laughs> not not that you'll remember my name anyway, but oh. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Please, I don't bite. I will not bite. Yet. Toko-chan, ultimate writing prodigy, but you're shy as hell. You should be your ultimate shy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10. Mm -hmm. I can't even finish mine. I don't even need to finish my novel though. And, and that got everyone talking and watched her literary career. Cool. And two years ago, she released So Long as the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. I wanna read it. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest man port. Nanikore. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she became to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else could you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey, lovey dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all? <laughs> dot dot dot. What's your problem? You don't tell me that she's like the crazy type? What? It's not polite to stay, you know? What the heck? Yandere. Yandere. Filthy creature, you know, I, I just thought, I know what you just thought, you just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Just say that you were thinking she's beautiful. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex, Zelda. I was way off about what a successful, successful author would be like. Well, go back and tell her that she's cute. 
Okay, fine. I'm gonna talk to you. Yo, the name Leon Kuwata. What's up? Why would you want to fight me? I didn't do anything to you. You're gonna die, so. Wait, did I just spoil this for some people? I just realized that I spoiled this. I recognize that name. His hair is different. He played for the National High School Champs as the cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. Y you? Seriously? Wait, that was kind of rude. <clears throat> huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I I just surprised. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Sh shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sport looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look then. <laughs> what? What? Oh man. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. Wait, this is like the bro. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your hair like this is part of the national championship regulations. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I totally uh, can I be totally honest with you? You know. I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He, he's never practiced and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. And as soon as I got, got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <gasps> my only pattern in life is getting into music. You can't feel like that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. Someone I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Yo, oh, this is like... Uh, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I've never imagined. I never imagined I hear something like that from a baseball all star. Okay, now to talk to those five over there. I want to talk to her first. Hi, I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. How would she like the fashionista with that kind of smile? The smile is way too. Mean. Okay, now she's cute though. Okay, fashionista. I love you already. Anybody will recognize this one. She's got more charm and present than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazines covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally Photoshop. No wonder. Photoshopped? <clears throat> yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. They could have been all depressed. She cute though. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks like a cer like old ceramic and porcelain. Basically anime! So many dreams are getting crushed today. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna talk to... Oh no, you. I like the sports hey, guy. Hey. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. As she just hit, said Hina, I remembered Hina from Domestic Girlfriend. I will love her to death. What's up? Hina Kwan. Oh, she's a swimming pro. Hmm. In breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. Cool. Mm. Nanya? Olympic cadet. I want to see her swim. No, as a matter of fact, you know what I mean. It's not I want to see her swim, I want to see her swim. In a bikini. Do you see these things back here? Oh, I do. Oh, I. 
The combination of our ability, appearance, and our proportions. <laughs> As we widely discussed all night. Mm. And that's true. Uncle to Nike. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, you didn't. No, not something like that. It is you like it. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? You gotta remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times! That's stupid. I've never heard of that in my, before in my life. Me neither. Mm. Oh, Marion, how are you spelling your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Huh? I'll just figure it out later and write it down. She has, she's really cute. Really. Okay. How is she not the ultimate fashionista? Do you see the cuteness? Just him here. One thing unless she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. I want to. I want some of that energy. Okay, you're next because I like your white guy. Mm. Can I ask you your name? <clears throat> My name is Yoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. Kiri Chuan. <clears throat> Ultimate nanny. Just be a clip, huh? Oh, but no, your name didn't show up anywhere in the whole freaking family. Mm, and I do see that there was a. Mm, also, didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Whatever. Also, so, what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Because I want to know you. I want to get to know you. Plus, plus, is it the ultimate white hair? I want, I, I want to know you. Hey, she rejected me before I even asked her out. I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up for her, and so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me. Shut up. Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay, you're next. I'm, I'm gonna talk to the snake dude. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Fujisaki. Oh, the chick that I thought had. She's the ultimate programmer? Why would you get embarrassed whenever you introduce yourself? Why? You just said your name. What kind of. Me too, Fujisaki Chuan. No, I'm gonna call you Chihiro. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before, Nani? I don't think so. We just met here for the first time. Which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> why did I say that? I made her cry. <laughs> I should have just said, well, no, even if I said that, yes, you would cry that she didn't remember me. I'm stupid. You don't have to apologize like that, Claire. Did Clean those tears! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Chi is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer, and I can't even create a freaking page. Whatever. She's also got the timid little bunny type thing going on. Yeah! What's up, yo? <laughs> Which has endured to her legion. She has fans. Of course, she has fans. Okay, so why are you crying, though? Sorry. For what? What are you apologizing for? Um, it's just because you seem up. Mm? You must be mad at me, right? Why would I be mad at you? You're so cute, Peach. What? I just want to hold you. The heck did I just do? Nanye! Wait, please don't tell me that this is switched off. Okay, no, it's not. No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Not lost in thought. Why is she so crying? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> oh, for sure I like you. I have my own hair on right now. Because all the other dudes look like crap. I just want to talk to the muscle head, okay? Can I just skip work? Oh my god. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. You're good. What's wrong with your hair? Are those scales or shit? Means. Yep, he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's in respect, even off from every bank in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. 
And of course, the police does shit. He does, doesn't do anything to stop this. I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Yeah, you have. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Yes, I knew it. Why the hell did Muscle Head? Dressed. I, I gotta talk to you. I'm sorry. I am Sakura Ogami. That's a her? She completed martial arts tournaments in Mekong 1 despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's my martial artist. She brought it over. Mm. Let's say a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest unknown relative to the primates. She's the fame missing link. Any incoming hope speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. In front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Yes? But what are you? Extremely ordinary. Have you ever gotten that kind of I don't know how to even put it someone just called hmm yes the way they just like examine you like, you are extremely ordinary <laughs> training what I would I, no no I don't, I don't even wanna I'm not sure that's such a shame for me I want to talk to this chick right here she's she's cute I like her. I do not think we have been introduced I am Celestia Ludenberg Princess Celestia from My Little Pony. She is the ultimate gambler. One, Danny Cole. Yes, you are also more. Mm? <laughs> I would prefer for you to call me Celestia. Mm. Huh? There's no way she's Japanese. You don't mind, could you me a real name? Self-styled social member, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes. Lolita! Yes! Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title of Queen of Lies. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to stealing your money. <laughs> That's what she wants to say. She's cute though. Okay, this dude he seems kinda crazy. You're gonna be last. I wanna talk to my bro! I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Duh, yeah. What are you though? Ultimate player for you. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova. In the psychic community, the threat setting ultimate clairvoyant. Whatever. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Oh, fortune telling. That's what it was. So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? <sighs> okay, I give up. What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. So what? Hmm. Guardian angel or crazy perm chasing after Bit for running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Shut up. That guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right, we should grab some br brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria, Lemuria and its civilization. What is that? What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's so long. Sorry, what the? I, I, I could think of. You look like you slept under a bridge, but whatever. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. And finally. Where have, where have I heard this this voice actor before? Mm, nice to meet you. He's gonna be he's gonna probably be class president 
and then Taka is going to fight him for it or something. That's the most half ass introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it, even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakuya Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, best. His title of ultimate affluent property, is that how you say it? It's completely accurate, he's the definition of exceptional. There's everything I learned about him from that's a from Home Speak Academy straight online. Come on. Not very friendly. Ouch. Why did I do that? Zora says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Okay, cool. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of uh, something. It's called personality, bruh. Hmm. Okay, for character. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of of uh, dull-eyed baboons. You are a baboon. Shut up. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, <laughs> oh, she's my my girl. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I just fell asleep. Well, the same is true for all of us. Okay, yeah. Why am I acting surprised? I already knew that. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously. <clears throat> Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But but that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Why are you freaking out? You could just punch your way out of this old school. <clears throat> that's not the only thing. You saw where all the, all the windows in the classes are and always were, right? Bolt it. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of big metal. Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Oh. My stuff is missing. I don't care. I'm about to die. <laughs> yeah, you. Alright. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. You know? Oh, we have to find it. We have to go look for it right now. This is the main objective of this game. Find Chi Chan's PDA. And then there's the main hall here. It looks like a laboratory. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? Oi, wait, chill out. Aww. It was kind of like kid from crime or something. Is it like what, like kidnapping? We're a lot of guys. We could just fight our way out. Yeah. You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off, and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. A bro. Yeah, school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure of it. That's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy on it for a little bit. I see. Ah, teach one, I love you. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Ah, <sighs> really surprised, huh? Like seriously, do you actually think that they would just place you in a classroom? Like they would knock your ass out first. Place you in a classroom that has like metal panels and big ass bolts on the windows so you can't get your ass out and then come outside out of nowhere and see like the whole hallway looks so creepy as hell and then just come here see a metal hatch and a lot of people just like oh all it happened to all of us here yeah, don't worry it's a surprise don't worry you'll what get surprised because you're gonna die first i'm not about i don't know but well that's what it is it's nap time for me you know what I, mean. I was up way too late last night you slept for a whole hour so i could use a little shut eye you could feel everyone's tension evaporating but then it began Why do these look like guns? Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. I didn't expect this kind of dumbass voice from Pedal Bear. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? I can okay. hear you. Well, then. The voice he told the out of place. It was so playful and so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep on reading dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone's laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming <coughs> students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. So well, we could go there by the end of the semester. That's all. I'll be waiting. Uh, that's creepy. 
Okay. Mm, wait. Of course, whatever. I can't even get out! Okay, so I have to finish this. Okay, I think. <gasps> what the was that just now? Goodbye. Oh, then if you excuse me. Oi, for a bugger! What are you gonna. If you're gonna take off just like that? Oh, yeah. Now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the interest ceremony. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for all of us next. No, no, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why do I have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait, wait for me. I'm gonna go with you. Why do you wanna go with the basketball freak? Go with me, G Chan! <laughs> nope, I'm not going with her. Anyway. Okay, fine, you can go. I remember I took off from the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Then an easy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. You know, it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. I love you. I love you with all the fiber of my being. You set my soul on fire. Sayaka is best girl. This, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Oh, okay, fine. You're here too? Okay, yeah. I don't know what to do Why are all the chicks with me though? Oh, Harum. Isekai Harum. No, is there besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious if I got what's going on around here? I see. Why are you with me? I need a bodyguard, so I'll probably stick with her. Him. Whatever. You ever do? Not before we learn we learn nothing. It sounds like a haiku. <clears throat> if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. A quote by Sakura Ogami. I guess he's right. <laughs> mm, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. Yeah! You said go to the gym, right? Gym and son! Well, folks, I am about to save here. Yeah? I shall save over here. No, I shall save over here. Yes. Well, folks, I'm gonna uh, stop right here. Where can I just... How do I leave game? Wait, first, R. Yes, let's leave the area for a sec. How do I leave game? Anyway. I'll figure it out on my own, whatever. So in any case, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Danganronpa. It was a, it, it, it was a very pleasant experience. Nobody has died yet, but uh, some things have happened. We don't know what happened yet, but uh, we will find out because, uh, by the way, this looks, I am not the ultimate, I, okay, I am not the ultimate average. I am the ultimate lucky. <laughs> But first, all I want to say is thank you to all my friends who encouraged me to play this game because this game looks very beautiful. I shall wait. And I, like, I cannot wait to see who dies first. But I know that by the end of this game, it will be me, Sayaka, and Chichan. You will be left alive. I don't know. I'm just spanning out nonsense. But I am glad that I managed to get to play this isekai. This is my second isekai game. I, look, I don't care what you say. It is an isekai. I was transported from a nice school into a bad school. So together, come with me, friends, and follow my journey as we get past the school of despair. And play every second Tango Rompa game that exists. Yes, I am planning to do that. So, my fellow weeps, I hope you liked what you saw. Because episode 2 will come soon enough. Thank you for watching. I have been Hirito-san. And I will see you all next time. Chane.